There's something you have to know about this keyboard. For starters, you can set your favorite apps a shortcut. So for example, my top three I manually set to are Notion, Kindle, and Samsung Notes. So you can set your own by holding down Command App 1. So you can do this. I didn't select other obvious apps because, for instance, the keyboard already has preset as a shortcut Command B for browser, Command M for map, and Command Z for settings, although you could do to find your key as well. I actually recommend in order to make the most of your keyboard real estate, I advise setting Command by itself to Google since you already have the key bindings set to, oh, okay. Since you already have the key bindings set to all the other digital assistant apps. Concerning the trackpad, three fingers to slide left or right. You can also have three fingers slide up to show recent apps. However, you might be wondering, is there a more efficient way to operate this tablet, say from a keyboard rather than using the trackpad? Yes. So on the tablet, you have your typical back key, recent apps key, and home key. Say you go to settings and then to data usage. If you want more productivity on this tablet, but with the keyboard, you press escape to go back and then command enter for the home button and then alt tab to go to recent apps. So let's go back to the home screen. If you want to see the additional apps that you have, which aren't displayed on your home screen, then press Alt-A. Of course, press Command-Enter to go back to where you were before. If the app shortcuts don't work for you, you can always do Command-F to find whatever app or response to a question that you want explained. Other features that you can use are Command-N to show notifications, Command-L to go on lock screen, and then command W to go on dex mode. Speaking of dex mode, I saved the best for last. This is the very reason why I decided to purchase this tablet over Apple's iPad Pro 6th gen. So you're probably thinking that you'd like to get some type of productivity going with this keyboard. I would first off try to open an app, say browser, and then what I would do is I would try to minimize it. So I would do command left. So these keys right here, I would use these. So right to put on the right side of the screen left. You can minimize by doing page down. Actually what you do to get it out of here is command one, corresponding to where it is on the taskbar. So what do I mean? If I open maps, command M, Maps is now number one, browser is number two. So wherever it is from left to right, it counts one, two, three, four when you do the command. If I want to minimize both of these, if I want to minimize both of these, I do command one, command two. And then if I want to open this, command two, command one. I am going to show how much of a multitasking beast this is just using the keyboard. What we do is we want maps here. So we do right, then up, and then we want to focus on this, but we don't want to touch the screen. So to put the focus on the browser, this is number two. So command two. Okay, now I selected this. Now I do command right, down. Now it's here. And now I want, say, the calendar, of course. So I get that up, and then I want it here. I put on the left side, down. And then next, I am going to get, how about the settings? So we get that. And now let's get that up. Now I got four. I'm not done. And so now I want five. How do I do that? Well, what I would do is let's open Kindle. Oh, okay. I can't run Kindle index mode. Let's try Notion. But I want to kind of minimize it. So to minimize, I do page down. And then, yeah, so now I got five apps like that. I could put it like that or this or that or that. To put it from there to there, you kind of have it full screen on the side like this, and then you put it here. You can't have it a fourth uh, of the screen size and then put it there. It'll just go here. So you have to have it half the screen size and then do here. And then likewise, you could have it here and go here. So to get out of here, this part without pressing anything, you just press enter. And now you got whatever. Well, okay, what if I want this to be, say, okay, let's go back here. Noah, this is messing up my screen, too many apps. I want to get all this out, but I don't want to close everything. So how do I do that? Well, you can command enter. 
So what if I want to get all of these back again? Same thing. Maybe I just want a few of these open, right? So what you do here is, okay, what if I just want four of these open? Notion is the number one app. So command one puts that down. I haven't selected any other app. So to put those away, I need to command its corresponding number. So calendar, that's one, two, three from left to right. So then command three. Okay, I selected it. Now do it again to minimize. So yeah, that's that. Peace.